<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing and Potato. So hey, today, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to an episode again with Randy Fishing. So I'm with Winner Mom with my guys today, Fishing Potato, and we are here at Pulau Ubin right now. The same spot as last time I came here. About to, yep, as you know, that we are about to target for Baramandi as usual. Try our best to land any fish as much as possible. And yeah, we are catching our tide. The lowest tide is 4 pm today. And we are now, right now, it's 1 pm. So we got around three hours to fish before the lowest tide. And then after one hour after the low tide, that is the golden time to fish for Baramandi. And yeah, I'm using my Tiger Beat Rock Light Dreamer, uh, Swap Pooper. Trigger X 2.2 inch with 7 gram of GK and little you see on a on the screen I'm using. So yeah, we'll try our best to catch and bring a lot of fun content. Stay tuned and let's do this. There's a crab net and one dead bear Monday right there. And now we are about to go down to the mud again. You! Oh no! Ah oh, man, it's stuck on the. Oh, come back. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try again. <laughs> Every time I come here, I never miss to fish. I must skip her. Nice, 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 nice bearer, nice bearer, nice bearer, nice bearer. Pull, pull, pull. Nice man. Damn, bro. Nice, bro. Fish on! Fish on! Very nice! Come on! Wow, oh, nice size lah! Don't jump, don't jump! Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> right, fish of the day for me. It's not big, but it's very solid fish. On. On the shadow wrap, 11 redhead. It's not big, but it's really good size, decent size to eat. I'm freaking fat, the fish is freaking healthy. On the shadow wrap, each one of us caught one of fish, and yeah, Jubel caught it on a skitter prop. I caught it on the shadow wrap. You, damn bro, it took it really hard, man. 
Beautiful. Yeah, we got dinner. <laughs> oh, no. Clean up the shit trash. All the hooks and rubber stuck here. You guys can see right. Freaking hell. I found some lures. Rubbers looking good. So I don't know. I'm not sure if they can use. Maybe. <laughs> I'll just take it. Some sinker as well. There's no hard body lures at all. Those are the only sad things. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. That's an and we landed one fish is of us, and Jubel lost another one as well. Uh, his line burst. I think the whole the fish swallowed the whole thing, and yeah, the line just burst because of I think because of the of side gill, the knife or the mouth just drop it friction and then just burst it. And we'll do a catch and cook after when we go back, and then I'll head to Jubel's house to make a catch and cook with him. So afterwards, we'll go. I'll uh, head to Jube Hasao and we'll cook uh, the fish that we caught. I'll cook my way, and Jube will cook his way, and I'll taste his food. He'll taste my food, and we'll try to yeah, we'll try each other's dish and how. Let's see how the dish goes. So yeah, we we'll see you later. You. Yeah. All right. So now I'm at Jube's house, and we are going to continue the second part of the video, which is catch and cook. And uh, yeah, I'm going to prepare the things, slide, uh, clean up the fish, get the maze out, fill it out the fish. So yeah, let's do it. What the fuck was that? So I, think I, I just leave the scales in and because I'm going to fill it out, which I'm going to remove the scale as well. So I don't have to do double job and the scale splits everywhere, you know. So I'm going to fill it up, hold the whole entire fillet and then I'll slide the skins off. It's going to be more easy. From here, you can just try to push in the scale like this. We don't need this part because it's very bony. And then we turn to the other part as well. Now what you have to do is just chop off the head first. Right. So there's the head off. If you want, if you want to fill it out with the with the skill, you need a very sharp, very sharp knife to do the works. Just push off, let the knife do the work. And then slowly slice open and then leave the belly bone there with a bit of angle. You can see the bone is here, so you don't have to worry about you peeling off the bone. Here's the fillet. Let's go for the other side. So now we're about to scale off the skin. And then downwards your knife. You can see this part. You try to scale off this part first from the mid. And then what you do is you hold it. And then downwards your knife. So this is what you do. Slowly just let your knife do the work. Press down the knife and then make sure the skin is off. See? Nice and clean. Just let your knife do the work. Make sure your knife is sharp enough to do the work. And there you go. Very clean. Solid. Beautiful. Feel it. Like 
just push your knife downwards 45 degree then just slowly press push and slice as well there you go another clean scale dog from the meat now it has a, another nice fillet there you go and that's how you scale the fish try to fill up the fish that's how you do it <laughs> a bit of seasoning what i got here was pepper um, sea salt and yeah chili powder or paprika or whatever put some spice on it Here, because we just need to coat the meat of the fish. Yeah, I think we're good enough. So, since I don't have any breadcrumbs, so what I do is I use this cream cracker and I just put it in the back and then I crust it. I just make a, a cream cracker breadcrumb. So, yeah. Try to coat. Very good. And because why I use the cream cracker because they have a butter smell, um, better than just bread, so it's gonna give a really good fragrant flavor on the on the outside crispy, and then one egg as well. Okay. Put some oil in, not too much. Around it can cover up the half of the things. Then wait for the oil to get hot enough and then we only put the fish in coat with flour do is egg wash both coat with egg then we go to the breadcrumb yeah the breadcrumb cream cracker Make sure you press and get all the things stuck on the fish. Breadcrumb is one of the key that makes everything crunchy. Crispy brown and gold. Ew. This squeeze on top of the fish so you won't too oily when you eat it. And then put some lettuce. You can put any wedgie if you like, but because I like lettuce, so I put lettuce on it. And then let the fish sit on top. Wow. That. Then I have my sugar sauce. <laughs> then it's always my favorite sauce. And then ketchup. Yep. 
and then you may have one I think he, he likes chili sauce so that's where you put and yeah and that's how you get and that's how you do a meal this is my Randy's version <laughs> the fish and chips wrap from sea bass and later we'll give a try how it taste So here we are, uh, we just done cooking each of our meals and now we're about to do some taste test. So let's get on with it. So Randy's is a fried fish wrap, right? And mine is a traditional Kerala style fish curry. We're gonna try out each other's dish. I did something different today, I didn't fry the fish as normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so right there. Whoa. So good man, good, good stuff, very nice. Nice. Yeah, it's so good. Let's see you again. Come on, super nice, super fresh. You guys should try this. If you don't have background, try to use cream cracker, smash it, do it as background. Because the cream cracker they have. The oil, the, the butter inside have a very really different fragrance compared to when you just use a normal original breadcrumb. Bre 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 oh my god, I'm so good. Well seasoned, very very nice. Definitely try this out, okay? So now we're about to try the fish curry. The, what we call this? Kerala style fish curry. Kerala, Kerala, Kerala. It's a steak meal. Kerala style fish curry. And yeah, uh, this can be enjoyed with rice, uh, steamed or boiled tapioca or whatnot. But today we're just gonna try it out on its own. The curry itself. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah. Wow, wow, This is really good. It's fresh, there's no much smell. Very moist. Mmm, nice tender fish. Yes, disintegrates in your mouth. So yeah. yeah, really good. It's really good to mix with rice or anything that is carbohydrate. Then, yeah. really unique flavor. The first time I taste this curry. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the end of the episode for today. So yeah, the session was pretty fun. We're having a fun. We have a lot of fun in Pulau Bin and each of us caught one fish that's what it's all about yeah and then we do make a catch and cook together with Yubel and the food was pretty freaking insane good I first time I ever tried the the red originally Indian style the curry the masala was absolutely unique the flavor is very unique so you if you guys want to check out how he cooked the masala make sure you guys go to his YouTube channel and I'll put the link in down the description so make sure you go and check out how he cooked the masala all the way and um, the ingredient, other things, how he cook, what things he used, everything will be on his video. And so yeah, I think probably that's it. That's uh, pretty much and for the episode of the day. As usual, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for this video, okay? Hit the button below, subscribe my channel, and we we'll see you on the next episode. Yew! Ow! Ow! <laughs> the fucking... Her freaking spike!